see how much resistance is in the copper wire. Well, that's rho L over A, which is uh, 1.68 times 10 to the minus 8 times 1 over pi r squared, which is 73 times 10 to the minus 6 squared. Can someone hit that in, please? So, one ohm, basically. Okay, B. The wire is broken into two, to make two resistors. How much resistance is in each? Yeah, no, because we have to, we have to use the formula V out. What's V out? V out equals R2 over, no, R2 over R1 plus R2 times Vn. What's wrong? Yeah? Is it okay? So V out is what? 22? R2 we don't know. But R1 plus R2 we do know. What's R1 plus R2? It's the total resistance. It's 1. And what's V in? 220. So R2 is equal to 0 0.1 ohms. So then R1 is equal to 0 0.9 ohms. What? You're happy. Why? Was it harder? No. How long is each resistor? Well, if you use the formula R equals rho L over A, you can say L equals R A over rho. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So then subbing the values in, you'll get L1 equals 0 0.9 meters and L2 equals 0 0.1 meters after you put the values in. A 10 ohm resistor is connected in parallel. Add this to the diagram and compute the voltage. If you like, you can use Kirchhoff, but I don't think you have to. Uh, because what will happen is the R2 will increase. So now we have 1 over R2 equals uh, 1 over 0 0.1 plus 1 over 10. What's that? 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10, isn't it? T sorry, 10 over 1 plus 1 over 10. 100 over 10 plus 1 over 10. 101 over 10. 10.1. Uh, and then <laughs> or 2 is 1 over that 0 0.099 it reduced, yep, yep. Uh, what did I ask for? the voltage so V out will equal 0 0.099 over the total so this plus what was the one we had earlier? 0 0.9. 0 0.999 times 220. Uh, so what is that? That's nearly... What's that? 21.9 or something? Can someone... 21.8 volts. Okay. The voltage in part D is not 22. Why not? No, not as fancy as that. It's simply because the R2 changed. So it's, can no, it's no longer... It's no longer doing the job it originally did exactly because the R2 changed. Now the next part is a bit hard. Change the length until the voltages are... so that it is 22 now. Okay, so let's have a look here. V out equals R2, which we don't know, R1, which we don't know, R2, which we don't know, times V in, which we do know. Well, that's not true. We do know V out. What we, we'd like it to be 22. So, you could say 1 over 10 
needs to equal R2. Now how did we get R2? Um, just remember the picture. We have R1 is here and then R2 is actually that and the 10. Yeah, so really, okay, if I call this, maybe to be a little bit clearer, um, I'll just call this one A, this one B, and this one C. And C is the only one we know. We know it's 10. So this R2 is all of this. So that would be minus 1, 1 over B plus 1 over C. And on the bottom here is R1 plus R2, which is all of this added together which is huh, A plus 1 over B plus 1 over 10 inverse like this. Okay. So, and we also know that A plus B equals 1. So how many equations do we have? 2. How many unknowns do we have? So we simply have to solve this very difficult problem. Let's do our best. 1 over 10 equals... Hang on, let me just add together 1 over b and 1 over 10. 10 plus b, isn't it? So the, it'll be 10b over 10 plus b. Ten b over 10 plus b over A plus 10B over 10 plus B. Cross multiplying, I get A plus 10B over 10 plus B equals 100B over 10 plus B. Okay, now I should bring, yeah? What's wrong? I cross multiplied. I brought this up and that up. Now, I'll take this over to the right. So I get A equals 90B over 10 plus B. Now, I'll cross multiply again. 10A plus AB equals 90B. So I get 10A minus 90B plus AB equals 0. Yes? But A plus B equals 1. So that means B equals 1 minus A. So that's 10A minus 90, 1 minus A plus A <sighs> times 1 minus A equals 0. 10A minus 90 minus 90, no, plus 90A plus A minus A squared equals 0. A squared. 90a plus a is 91a. Taking that to the right is... My, huh? Oh, plus 10a. So, my, uh, 100a... 101a. Yeah? 101a. 90 equals 0. Now, as soon as I have a, I have b. So, solving this bad boy. Mode 51. 1... No. Mode 53. 1 minus 101 and minus 90. Mm. Makes me sad. Because it should be plus 90. And that makes me happy. Mm. No, not sad. It just means I of course only take one of the answers so obviously the first answer is ridiculous because the total resistance we had was one ohm so it couldn't possibly be a hundred ohms it obviously must be this one 0 0.899 so the A is 0 0.899 ohms and the B is uh, 0 0.101 ohms yeah What is the output voltage now? Now it is 22 volts. What is the power output of the large resistor? H. Uh, okay, 
So power equals IV, but I don't know the I. I do know the V, though. I don't know the I. So if I use this formula, I can change it into V squared over R, which is 22 squared over 10. What's that, please, Monica? 22 squared over 10. Forty-eight point four. Forty-eight point four. What? Oh, I've done more questions. I've added in more. Why did I stop? Oh, I just I just relabeled them. So now I'm doing what is the power output? Yeah, what, what, it's twenty-two. Because the whole reason we got the A and the B was to make it 22. It was kind of a trick question. No? Okay. Sorry, I said that too quickly. It's 22, yeah? Uh, next is the power, which is 48.4. Uh, what is the input power, is it? Oh, no, what is the current? Well, yeah, well, that's just P equals IV, yeah. So P equals IV, so I equals 48.4 over 22. What's that, please? Zero point two two. 0.22 amps, okay. Which is it, 2.2 two two or 2.1? Two oh, no, not 0 0.22, that's silly. Monica, you're the only one I trust. What's the answer? Monica, what's the answer? You're the only one I trust in this class. No, Two point. The question says what? Two hundred and twenty. Oh, why the Oh. What is the current provided by the two twenty? Now I understand. Is that what I wanted to ask? Yeah. Is it though? Is it though? Okay, it, it is. Fine. That's what I wanted to ask. Let me just redo that one. Um, okay, well for the main 220, we know the voltage, and if I want the current, I need to know the power as well, which I don't know, because it's not the same as the 48.4 that's for the large resistor. Is there anything else I can know? I can know the total resistance. Okay, so... Guys, basically forget about that question. The only reason I asked that question... No, no. What I mean is, the reason I asked that question was, ultimately, I want to know the power input. So I thought by finding the current first, that would be easier, but... My point is just, what is the power input? Which is the next part. So rather than doing it via the current, I'll do it via the resistance. Because I can say power equals IV... Uh, but I don't know the I, and I don't want to know the I anymore. They don't like it. Uh, so that's V squared over R. Now the good thing is I know the V is 220. Uh, I don't know the R, but I can easily work it out because you have one, two, three resistors here. And we know this one, we know this one, and we know this one. Yeah. Uh, so what is it? Do I have that answer from earlier? Let's see. Uh, well, this was one uh, zero point eight nine nine plus this one, which is one over one over zero point one oh one plus one over ten. What? <laughs> is it not this? Uh, 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 0 0.899 plus 1 over 0 0.101 plus 1 over the total resistance is 0 0.99899 that's the total resistance so now we know this so the answer is 220 squared over that 220 squared over my answer. 
Uh, that's huge. That's okay. So seven. Yeah. Okay, so what's wrong here? You can have two numbers. Which two numbers are wrong? Oh, I, oh, I typed it in wrong. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you spotted something. Is that right or wrong? That's the resistance. Okay. <coughs> 220 squared over... Yeah. That's the power input. Yeah, okay. Now that's a freaking huge number. Uh, it's a tiny number. Oh, it's not what I wrote earlier. What was it then? Sorry. Oh yeah, this is too small. Yeah, yeah what is it? It's Sorry, forty eight So forty eight twenty nine watts. Yeah. Okay, that makes me feel better. Yeah. Oh okay, no no just tell me what twenty two squared over ten is, please. That seems too small. 22 squared over 10, is it? No, I, no, just so you know, I don't expect this to be the same as the answer I just got. I know. Okay, fine. <laughs> 22 squared over 10. No, but my question was, what is the power output of the 10 resistor? Not sure. Cool. So it is 48.4? Yeah. That's the point I'm getting to. That's the point. So the output from the large resistor is 48.4. And then the input, what was it? Uh, uh, where's it gone? Oh, here it is. 48.448. Watts. So lastly, what's the efficiency? 48.4 over 48.448 times 100. Uh, ridiculous. 48.4 over 0, nearly, not even. Zero, zero point one percent efficient. Yeah, extremely inefficient. Extremely inefficient. Um, there is another way to change the voltage that is not as bad as this. I mean, this is a horrible way. But when you think about this a lot, you might be thinking, well, this kind of makes sense because when you plug your laptop into the wall to charge up you get a lot of heat don't you? a lot of heat from the laptop yeah. there is a better way to change the voltage though that we'll do in semester 2 0.1% outrageous that is better than a car uh, it was better than trying to get to work though, wasn't it? The car was what? It was something crazy like uh, 0, 0.0. Remember that question of the efficiency on the car? And I couldn't believe it when I was doing it. Similar here. Uh, okay, that's the electricity finish now. Um, what we'll do... When's our next physics class? Tomorrow, is it? In exam prep? 
I'm going to go back to the exams I gave you as practice and then on Friday I will give you some of last year's end of semester one exams so you have something to practice on the weekend if you want to practice for the test. Yeah, I'll think I, I think I have um, three and a semester one exams I can give you. Uh, also, you have an exam you got from Connell as well, that's an end of semester one. So you should have about four exams. I think this will be good practice for you. Uh, all right, we'll finish. Uh, although three minutes earlier than I wanted, I think you deserve it.